Hey guys, what's going on today? Today I decided that I was going to do the unthinkable. I was going to try to pull a long trailer and have hope that maybe I would be able to park it. <laughs> I know that's one of my things. I love big trailers. I love big long trailers, but I cannot park them to save my life. So I figured I'd give it a try. Just for the heck of it, I got the Cascadia uh, paint job and stuff on this one with the aerodynamic thing on the back and the aerodynamic things underneath and all that stuff. So, I've already got the job picked out. I just don't have it um, picked up yet. So that's what we're getting ready to go do is pick up our job. How can I get out of here? That's safe. Let's see. Or there, there's the exit over there. I think my low boy trailer will still always be my favorite, but I decided to change things up a bit. Didn't want the re didn't want the little boy to get stale after a while, you know. gonna be so weird because I'm so used to the length of the low boy and being able to make sharper turns and I'm gonna have to what make wider turns with this one I'm a little I'm a little conflicted on the paint job because I love the paint job that I picked for this truck but I just don't think it goes very well with the um, with the Cascadia promotional paint job. But, oh well. Wide turn. Oh, that wasn't too bad. getting on the highway. We're only going to be on it for a short bit just to get across town. to make another train simulator video soon but I don't know what to do. I'm thinking maybe an old British steam engine or something. Haven't done one of those yet. I believe on the job I selected compute. Oh, well, it's not going to tell me now. But I put on the GPS a little job for computers, I think. Not that it matters. You can't see it in the reefer trailer anyway. But, oh, this is an only. Oops. Uh, well.
we're gonna have to jump the gun when the light changes because okay they're turning anyway so we got room have the job picked up already when I start these videos but I decided I wanted to try it different this time and actually see if I can even back it up to pick up the job because I may not even be able to do that I may have to auto park it I don't want to but I might have to the old stop sign game. <laughs> the old stop sign game of not knowing who's going to go first. Okay. I feel like I've done a couple jobs from this area back here before. Or maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy. No, I guess not. If I haven't discovered that viewpoint before, I guess not then. Okay. Oh, it's an airport. Okay. Picking up computers from the airport. Am I going to have to back the semi into the plane? No, that would be silly. Let's see. Yeah, computers. Just a little short trip. Oh, okay, it wants us over there. Uh, well. I hate backing up from the side, but. If it's what I gotta do. I guess then it's what I gotta do. I can barely see out of that little mirror. Even if I played this on my television, I think I'd still have a hard time. Definitely not going to get this on the first try. Oh, well I would have if the spot was over just a little bit from where it is. That's okay. Because at least now, this way, I can back up my way. With this camera. Alright. 
Okay. Not a very long trip, but I like to check the map. I don't want it to take us off any pathway that wouldn't be ideal. Yeah, there's not much room for error because it's such a short little... Well, see, like, stuff like this. Like, why would you have me go when I can just go? Well, unless it doesn't... How come it doesn't want me to... How come it doesn't want me to... Huh, alright, whatever. I guess I have to go that way. Apparently going through here is not a... Not a road. Alright, well. Okay then. Oop. Okay. We got our computers. And we're going to, well, Walbert, Walmart, same thing. It's like a cross between Walmart and Walgreens. done a tiny bit of research and I believe that maybe it would be a better investment and more cost effective instead of having V what are you doing what I'm not even am I really pulled out that far no well whatever But I think it'd be more cost effective uh, to, instead of having VR, to have track IR. It's a, I mean, I would have to wear this hat and put it on the hat, which I hate wearing hats, but, you know, I don't even know if I have a baseball cap laying around anywhere. But it'd be like $150 cheaper than getting a VR headset. Because I got to thinking about it and I was like, you know, I just... Uh, I want to be able to look around the... Oops. <laughs> Oops. Uh, my bad. <laughs> uh, I am such a fail. <laughs> Maybe I need to tighten up the sensitivity of the brakes a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I want to be able to look around my desk and, like, grab my phone if I need to or something. Because if you're in VR, like, your, your eyes are, like, completely immersed in the... Which would be great on one hand, you know, to be not have any distractions or anything, but... Uh, I want to be able to look around and like see what buttons I'm about to press on the steering wheel and I don't know. It's one of those things where I want it both ways but I can't have it both ways. There's just a no-win situation. You know, actually, you know what? You know what would probably be the best thing? Is if there was like an analog stick. Like on the shifter I got here. Because then I could just, while I'm steering with my left hand, I can like use the analog stick to look around with the camera. That would be like the best thing ever. But I don't know if that kind of setup could have Okay. Alright, we use uh, Homeward Bound, I think. I believe. I believe, I believe. This is so 
stupid. Why do I have to? It's because the straight line. Well, whoever designed this highway interchange was stupid. Why would you have the straight path go to the right and make people come down here to keep going straight? That's so stupid. <clears throat> My voice is always not the greatest in the mornings. But the mornings are the opportunistic times to make videos because nobody's awake yet to bother me and interrupt anything I might be doing. <clears throat> don't want to don't want to get a phone call in the middle of making a recording. Although if I did decide to do streaming, I would have to do that in a much better time than in the mornings. Because if I did it in the morning, I'd get a bunch of... I'd either get a bunch of weirdos, or I'd get a bunch of people that were not in my time zone. <laughs> Which, I guess, on one hand would be, like, to get people not in my time zone, get a bunch of people from England or something, that'd be okay. But I'd also get some weirdos, like the people that are just coming home from shopping at Walmart at 4 a.m. <laughs> did I do that okay? Yeah, I guess I did. About as good as you can do. Alrighty, now I think we're going to be on the highway for a good amount of time this time. I believe, I believe. than 70 so we'll just go 70 I mean I really like this trailer a lot I just wish I was better at parking them the airport the airport treated me really nice gave me plenty of room I don't have faith that Walbert is going to do the same thing. Walbert is going to not have mercy on me. That I mean, of all the places to park a large trailer in this game, the Walbert parking lots are very unforgiving. If it's the same, well, technically there's two different kinds. There's the really kind. There's the really small ones. Or no, am I thinking of maybe Eddie's, Eddie's ice cream or whatever? But I know that there's supermarkets that are really unforgiving to park in. But then some of the Walbert ones are a little bit bigger. But they're, they're still not that much better. They're still really hard to park. Euro Truck made it easy. Because all the lots in that game were basically the same size as the ones here. Except the trailers were shorter. Because of European standards. So it really, I mean, it was hard, but it was manageable. But this one, they're like, yeah, park a trailer that's like 30% longer in the same size lot. On top of having a long nose on your truck and not having a cab over. Because with a cab over, you can get right up to the fence and, you know, it's just a better, it's, it's just easier to park with European trucks and European trailers. And so I need to go back to playing that. I've been playing this game ever since the Freeliner came out. I mean, I need to make another Euro video. I miss my European truck with my decorations and stuff I had in the window and everything. Oh, hello. Uh, I didn't really have a chance to move over because that truck was there. They want me to pull in anyway. Want to spoil my fun. 
Do you not trust me? Am I not trustworthy? What is it with me and breaking today? I'm not doing very good on the breaking. I mean, I haven't played this game in like four days, but normally I'm not that rusty. Oh, okay, we have a third lane for a minute. Hopefully more than a minute. This is how it should always be. You should always have a third lane for like a mile. At least a mile. Plenty of time to size up the traffic and have opportunity to get over. And In a perfect world, In a perfect world, all the parking spots at Walmart would be sized for pickup trucks and not just small sedans. might seem like I might complain a lot about little things but I just see things in the world and I'm like you know this could be better that could be better and I ask myself why why wasn't it better who thought this was a good idea I just I don't know I can't help it I'm a natural pessimist I guess I see the negative before I see the good I'm the realist that keeps everyone down to earth I guess I don't know even though, even though that's kind of a contradiction because at the same time, I tend to be very imaginary and think unrealistic utopian ideas. <laughs> so I guess I don't know what I am. I don't know what you would call me. a little bit. Burgers, hot dogs, sandwiches, pizza. Is that what that sign said? Sounds like a good place to eat. I remember one time in high school, I went and got a hot dog on a bun with some mustard and then some fries and a ketchup and then a Coca-Cola. And I went over to my table of friends and one of the people there, they looked at my tray and they said, you have the most American meal. <laughs> And I said, uh, oops, sorry, I don't, you know, I just picked what I liked. <laughs> that was one of the very few times, very, very few times, when I actually got real food in the cafeteria at high school, because most of the time the line was out the door. And you didn't have a ch if you didn't get there within the first three minutes, you didn't have a chance. So I just, you know, would settle for vending machine snacks, animal crackers, and things, and get through the day. And then when I got home a little after three, I would have a real meal, even though it was early for dinner. But since I didn't really have a lunch, you know. I think 
would be a good game for me to play since I have an issue driving semis, but at the same time I like driving semis. I think maybe I would be good at maybe like a like a bus simulator. I know they exist, I've seen them. I just I haven't investigated them too much. I think I'd be good at maybe driving a bus simulator. Or maybe What's that one game that I seen? Like a snow runner or something? Where you drive these big trucks through a snowy region and stuff? It's it's not really I mean it's a simulator, but at the same time it's not a simulator. I also saw this one Russian game that, like Mud Runner or something, where you drove these really old, like, like Cold War era Soviet Union trucks through the mud and stuff. I'm not 100% sure what the objective is, but it looks kind of okay. I just think I just think maybe like a bus simulator would probably be like a good fit. I would love to have because I have train simulator, but I would love to have like a train simulator that was spe very specifically geared towards passenger commuting, like where I go from one station to the next station to the next station and just keep going, you know and have to stop and pick up people and I know there's scenarios in train sim that you can do that kind of stuff but it's not very realistic like I want it to be hyper realistic about well not just graphically but also just like it's specifically towards the passenger experience like it doesn't have to be an electric train but I don't know I'm just I really like simulators, but there doesn't seem to be a simulator out there that perfectly fits my needs and desires. There's always a few things about a particular one that just doesn't match up with me. We'll see how Flight Simulator goes. Hopefully by the spring I'll be able to play that and we'll see how that is. Get out on the road. I don't know what y'all were doing back there. But Please don't stop me. <sighs> Why? I already stopped once. I wish I could turn these things off. that far oh come on no real driver would stop for someone not pulled out that far come on you could be pulled out like two feet from the road and people will still keep driving Alright, so here's the part that I have to make the zigzag when I don't understand why I have to make the zigzag. And I'm gonna hold up traffic. Because I couldn't get over without hopping the curb. Still green over there. Come on. 
Let me go. Having an anxiety attack holding up traffic. Uh-oh. Did I pull into the wrong... <laughs> I pulled into the rest area when I didn't... Re uh... Okay. You turn time. <laughs> you turn time. Uh, I pulled into the rest. I pulled in uh, an intersection too soon. Oh. <sighs> I set myself up for failure all the time. It, it just, it's in my veins, I guess. It's in my blood. I am a failure. By genet by birthright. <laughs> by birthright, I lay claim to my title. As a genuine failure. <laughs> This is the right. I'm gonna hop the curb this time so I don't block traffic. Okay, that's a lot better. See? <sighs> okay. That's a lot better. Oh, we can go. We can go. We can go. Make her right. And then we go. When we get up here, I'm going to look down the right and see why I can't. Is there a reason why I couldn't have just went straight? No, doesn't look like it. But the GPS didn't want me to. Could have spared me the trouble of making that little mistake earlier. Alright, Walbert. Maybe this won't be so bad. This is a bigger, bigger lot than some places. Wait a sec. Why does it want me to? Well, that's. I'm just gonna cut through the grass. Screw it. That's an awfully stupid. Okay, where do you want it? Oh god. What the hell? How do you expect me to do it? <sighs> you, know, you know what? Maybe if I... I'll see what we got here. If I have to auto park, I'll auto park it. I don't want to, but if I have to... Oh no, is it not as open as I thought? Where does it even want me to... Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to... I can't see the dang... Okay, I have an idea. Maybe if I... Yeah, I got an idea. Might work. May not work. I'm not sure. Okay. First thing is... 
I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to go down this way. Yep. Right there. Oh man, that's going to be hard. But I have an idea. Has an idea. I probably could have done this a lot easier if I had just thought about it a little bit more. Okay. Whoop! I'm right there by the ding. Oops. Now let's try. Because if I just do like this, and can get way up there, and maybe like right here, I'm thinking, maybe. <sighs> maybe hop in the grass just a little bit. Oh, that bush is an invisible. We can do it from here. We just gotta get it like such. And that's too much. Aha! There we go. Well, I ain't gonna be perfect, but... Oh! It wants me to stop, but am I up against the... Am I up against the thing? Well, I guess with the aerodynamic... thing. You know, that's actually... Oh, that's actually really good! Yeah, I actually did a pretty good job. don't want this thing to bump up against the okay park and brake engine off all right that's about as good as we're gonna get it I think well I'm gonna get out of this ditch I'm in. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. I've tried parking reefer trailers in much more not forgiving areas. I had, Thankfully I had plenty of room to wiggle around and make a U-turn and everything. Otherwise that would have been a nightmare. Alright. Oh, that's the end of this one. Whoop. We have done it again. Kinda sorta. Went on a little adventure. So I will see you next time. Goodbye.